The first transcontinental telegraph was completed on October 24, 1861. It connected the eastern and western telegraph networks. The telegraph sent electrical signals over more than 2,000 miles in Morse code, which could transmit messages across the United States instantaneously for the first time. It was an arduous process. The materials were brought by horse and wagon. 27,500 poles were planted to hang up the thin wire. The line was rerouted through Chicago to avoid Confederate attempts to sabotage the Union forces' ability to communicate. The line was also threatened by bison, who would rub on the poles, as well as Native Americans who would cut them down. Shortly after completion, the Pony Express was shut down, as it was now made obsolete. California Chief Justice Stephen Field used the momentous occasion to send a message assuring Abraham Lincoln that California was on the side of the Union. The message read, In the temporary absence of the governor of the state, I am requested to send you the first message which will be transmitted over the wires of the telegraph line, which connect the Pacific with the Atlantic states. The people of California desire to congratulate you upon the completion of the great work. They believe that it will be the means of strengthening the attachment which bind both the East and West to the Union, and they desire. In this, the first message across the continent to express their loyalty to that Union and their determination to stand by the government in this, its day of trial, they regard that government with affection and will adhere to it under all fortunes. Stephen J. Field, Chief Justice of California. Technologically, we have come a long way since then. But it is amazing to think about Abraham Lincoln in the 1800s sitting in his cot, awaiting the almost magical new communications he called lightning messages. Thank you for watching Learn Something New.